Brian, thank you. All right, um, I think he did. I think he just rolled it. Um, all right, let's call this uh, meeting for January 10th, 2022 to order. Um, we are going to have an invocation by our own Mr. Burgett, where he is. Um, yeah. Where's, where's Robert? Let me, let me get him. Okay. I may have to do it myself. Oh, I, I mean, I can lead us in a prayer if I need to. He'll do anything you have an invocation. <laughs> he, he didn't okay, here, hold on, I just, I'll just lead us. We we'll have to really pay you uh, overtime pay today. <laughs> As our pay for this, okay. Y'all will uh, join me in prayer. Dear God, thank you so much for bringing us back together for the enjoyment of our holidays with our families and our friends. Um, help us to embrace the promise of this new year to focus on the good things that we have and to celebrate all of the victories and the accomplishments that we make this year thank you for this group help us to guide us through this meeting tonight help us to make decisions wisely and with thought thank you for the blessings that you give us in homewood and bless us as this new year begins in your holy name we pray amen amen all right face the flag pledge allegiance pledge to, to the flag, flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. All right, Ms. Salter, can we get a roll call, please? Um, yes, sir. Councilor Gwaltney? Here. Councilor Gear? Here. Councilor Allman? Here. Councilor Wolverton? Here. Councilor Sims? Here. <laughs> oh. Councilor Jones? Okay. You'll do anything to get out of the invocation. <laughs> Councilor Smith? Councilor Smith. Oh, here, sorry. She's, um, she, that would be your record, she is Smith. chairing tonight <laughs> in the absence of our president and President Pro Temp. Um, Councilor Nelms. Um, Councilor Andrus. Here. Councilor Harden. And President Wyatt. Okay, you got four absent, but you still have a quorum. All right, and um, Jennifer said that John is on his way, so hopefully he will get here uh, momentarily. Um, so this is what happens when the president and the president pro tem are out. You get third string Barry. Um, <laughs> next one up. So here we go. Um, we're going to try to do this quickly so that everybody can get home uh, to watch a certain football game tonight. Um, can I get a motion to approve uh, the minutes from our meeting of December 30th and dispense with the reading? Those uh, Ms. Salter sent us those minutes this morning, I believe. So moved. Second. All right, motion from Ms. Andrus, second from Mr. Gwaltney. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Aye, aye. aye. all right, that is one, so two. Seven. Here, that, that is correct, yeah, okay. so seven to zero, passing those minutes. All right, um, we have several, I'm sorry, we have several board vacancies uh, that need to be opened. Um, Ward two, uh, BZA, um, did y'all know that is needs to be open? <laughs> Kel Smith asked for it to be open. Okay. Oh, yes, because Beverly LaBeouf, her yeah. term ended in July, in yeah, December. Just, just ended, so. Okay. All right. So um, do we want to set that until, do we want to do that until the 31st, or would y'all rather extend it longer than that and go into February to the 14th? You want to go on the 31st? We're on the 31st. Okay. All right. So we will um, open that application period until... January 31st at um, 5 o'clock? 4.30. At 4.30, yes. Uh -huh. Okay. All right, we will do that. And then um, I need to open up the Ward 3 Historic Preservation um, spot. Jonathan Lambert is having to step down um, because of his work. His work situation has changed. He just is not going to have time to do the commission. He is very saddened. But So I need to open up Ward 3 uh, Historic Preservation, and I will – do the same um, and extend it through uh, January 31st at 4:30, um, and that that is a position. It's actually it's going to be filling out his the rest of Jonathan's term, which is actually up in July 2022. So um, that'll be about a seven month term by the time it actually gets appointed. So um, although they can be reappointed, okay. And then um, the park board at large spot closed this afternoon. Um, I believe we had two um, applicants, uh, Chris Bailey and Jennifer Harden. So 
Uh, I guess we'll need to set up interviews for that. Um, and then, yes, uh, for the record, Mr. Harden is here. Um, and um, I think I am going to extend, I, I mean, I think we should, let's try to do um, interviews if we can, I guess, uh, next week toward the end, maybe like Thursday, if Thursday. that's possible. Yeah, see if that's possible. If it's not, we'll, yeah, I think that's the 20th, yes. All right, so we'll we'll try, Starting try at to. Five o'clock or. Uh, yeah. Five yeah. Uh, let's say five thirty. Five thirty. Because there's only two. There's only two of them. Five thirty and six. Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> we probably could do it faster than that, but yeah, we'll do thirty minutes on each. Okay. Um, all right. We have two additions to the agenda. They are both uh, committee referral agenda. I mean items. Uh, the first is fifteen oh one twenty two. And that is request to authorize the mayor to sign the contract and pay fiscal year 21-22 appropriation to the West Homewood Neighborhood Association. Justin Limbaugh, this coming from Justin Limbaugh and Robert Burgett, our finance director, and Melody Salter, our city clerk and um, assistant finance director. Uh, and this will be referred to the finance committee. And then we have 1601-22, which is a request to authorize the mayor to sign a contract and pay the fiscal year 21-22 appropriation to the JBS Mental Health Authority coming to us from Mr. Burgett. Uh, so that will be also referred to the finance committee. So if I could get a motion uh, to approve the amended agenda. So moved. Right. Mr. Alamon is the motion and Ms. Andrus is the second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 All right, that is seven to zero. It's eight now. Oh, oh, that's right, it is eight, because Mr. Harden is here, yes, sorry. Okay, all right, uh, we do not have a consent agenda tonight, so we will move on to our old business agenda. Uh, the first item is 12-12-21, public hearing set for uh, January 10th, 2022 at 6 p.m. for consideration of three sign variances at 1724 27th Court South, Ferris Malky, Cahaba Cycles, and Mr. Pugh. Um, first, we're going to hear a, a report from Ms. Andrus uh, for special from special issues. Uh, yes, the committee met last week and voted five to zero to refer this item back to the full council without recommendation pending the public hearing. The motion was made by Councilor Aleman and was seconded by myself. All right. Thank you. And we will open this public hearing now. All right, um, Mr. Pugh, Mr. Malky, go ahead and explain to us what we're doing. And Brian, I think sure. there's some images for this. Yeah, there we go. From the special issues committee meeting last week until today, there's been some changes. Okay. Um, there's only two sign variances. One is a numbers variance. It's for a second wall sign on the front. And the second one is for a height variance of only six inches on that C logo on the front. Um, that's it. So. Okay. All right. So, and the second sign is for the coffee shop, correct? correct. No. Uh, well, I'm sorry. Okay. It, it, remember, I broke it up into two storefronts because there's a separate oh, entrance on those. Right. So it turns out now the domestic coffee is fine. Okay. It doesn't require variance. Okay. For All right. Storefront. So this is a height variance for the logo. So it's a height variance for the C on uh -huh. Cahaba Cycles. Right. 24 inches is the max permitted in the ordinance. It, it's a 30 inch logo. Okay. And there's a, a second sign requested on the front above the window which says bicycle scooters. Oh, okay, okay, I got you. Like telling what, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh yeah, I see it. Okay, um, Mr. Malky, do you want to say anything? Anything else we need to know? I mean, that's <laughs> that's pretty it, much really. it. Just um, spend a lot of time laying everything out. Um, just having a little bit larger logo, having a little bit more pop. You know, we're not, we're not on the main drag. We've got some visibility. Um, instructions from the gentleman's quarters building and the dance foundation and um, with the windows and doors um, lots of iterations but just trying to maximize it and just asking for just a small, okay. small variation there just to make it a little bit more visible all right um, is there anyone else here who would like to speak to this all right if not I will close the public hearing and uh, ask any of the counselors if y'all have questions or comments. Mr. Mr. Alamon? Yeah, I just wanna say that I think it's a thoughtful edit to what we last saw. Um, I think that it's still a variance, but not to the extent that it previously existed. And I think it still is, you know, 
it serves its purpose for what you want in terms of being able to catch the attention of the public, but also reduces how big it previously was. So I appreciate your effort to meet us halfway. Thank you. Yep. Uh, can I clarify, is the light, is, is any of this backlit? Oh, no. Okay, I, I couldn't remember. If we, I, think, I think it's, it's painted it's on. Painted. Yeah. yeah, it's, it's painted on. It's all painted, okay, yeah. okay. And I, yeah, I'll second what Councillor Alamon said. I, I recognized last week it was pretty large. And so I think it, it goes a long way to, to, make, uh, to make efforts to, to take in the input that was given. Um, and I will say, I, I totally understand in, in this particular case, orientation of the building, you know, with the road, I, I think makes sense that it needs to be a little bit bigger to improve your visibility, so. Yeah. Okay, anybody else? Okay, motion from Ms. Andrus second. to approve. I'm sorry, was that you, Mr. Alamon? Okay, uh, Mr. Alamon with the second. And this will be resolution, hold on, I had this in my head. Uh, 2201 starting fresh in the new year um, all right all in favor please say aye. aye aye all right that is eight to zero and that is re resolution 2201 all right thank y'all thank y'all very much thank you. all right uh, next item is 14 10 21 bid opening held on December 17th at uh, 201 p.m. for the Salter sidewalk project mr. Smith um, I'm going to report out for finance uh, in Mr. Jones's absence. Um, the committee met last week and voted five to zero to recommend rejecting the bids and rebidding the project with a l more limited scope with um, a bid date to be determined. Um, I made the motion and that was seconded by Mr. Harden. Um, so Mr. Smith, do you want to, um, do you, I know we were saying at the time you weren't, you weren't quite ready to set a bid date. Do we need to go ahead and do that tonight? Okay. All right. Um, what date do you would like to? I do propose that? Uh, February the seventh. Okay. Which is a, a Monday night. Um, should be a committee meeting. Um. Yeah. Okay. And uh, so we would normally do that. What at four thirty? Four thirty. Four thirty. Okay. Four thirty one. Four thirty one. Four thirty one. Okay. All right. So. Um, bids will be received till four thirty. Yes. Okay. So we will. Um, okay. So yes, we'll receive bids till four thirty, and the bid opening itself will be at four thirty one. Correct. Um, okay, uh, so Mr. Kendrick, do we have to do any kind of vote for that or we just set it? Just, just set it. Okay. All right. So new well, we'll bid. Oh, um, well that, that motion was from finance. So I guess we do need to vote on that. Okay. So the, uh, yes, the motion from finance was to reject the bids and set a new bid date. So, um, that doesn't need a second. So yeah, all in favor of that. Uh, Aye. Aye. Okay, so that's eight zero to reject the bids, and now we will set that new bid opening for February seventh, twenty twenty one, at four thirty or four thirty one, with bids accepted till four thirty. All right, so that moving on to the next one. All right. Oh, yep. I think you said February seventh, twenty twenty one. Oh, twenty twenty two. Sorry. Yep. <laughs> haven't haven't edited that in my brain yet. How many times will I write a check with the wrong year on it? Probably a lot. Um, okay, 23-11-21, uh, request to authorize the mayor to sign a loan agreement with Bryant Bank for fiscal year 21-22 capital vehicle purchases, Mr. Burgett and Ms. Salter. Um, again, I'll be reporting that out for finance. And um, committee met last week, voted five to zero to recommend approval of two resolutions uh, for a loan of $60,000 for uh, a fire engine for five years at 2.09% and a loan for 15 vehicles for 641,000 for five years. I think it was at the same uh, interest rate. Motion was made by myself and seconded by Mr. Harden. Um, so that motion uh, to approve is coming out of finance, doesn't require a second. Um, so all in favor, please say aye. Aye. Aye, aye. eight to zero, and that is resolution 20, 2202. All right. Um, Number three, okay, 10, 12, 21, request for consideration of budget amendments from Ms. Bo oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's right, yeah, we, I said that. Okay, so we'll say that that uh, 2202 was the one for the smaller amount for the uh, $60,000. Um, so that was for the fire engine, so. 
Okay, okay, so the, that first one is for 650 for the four, what are 41 vehicles or whatever it is. The fire engine. Okay, so then uh, we need to take another vote for 2203, which will be for the smaller amount for the $60,000 fire truck. Um, all in favor, please say aye. 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 So that is eight to zero again for resolution 2203 for the purchase of, or the loan for the fire engine. Uh, that's for the purchase of 15 Okay, whichever. There, go. <laughs> pretty sure okay all right okay o2 is for the six is for what 60 okay okay and then the second 2203 is for the vehicles okay awesome okay moving on 10 12 21 request for consideration of budget amendments from mr uh, burgett and miss salter and again um the finance committee met last week and reviewed the budget amendments from mr burgett voted five to zero to recommend approving those Motion was made by Mr. Harden and seconded by Mr. Alamon. Um, so the motion uh, from finance is to approve those budget amendments. Does anybody have any questions? If not, all in favor, please say aye. Aye. Aye, aye. eight to zero, and that is resolution 2204. All right, 2012-21, uh, request for the mayor to uh, sign a franchise agreement with Spectrum from Mr. Kendrick. Um, the report from finance uh, we met last week and after hearing from Mr. Kendrick voted five to zero to recommend approving uh, the mayor to sign the contract. The motion was made by myself and seconded by Mr. Gwaltney. Um, so that motion is to approve that in finance. Uh, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Eight to zero and that is 2205. I'm, I'm sorry, that's yep. an ordinance. Oh, okay. So we need a motion aye. for um, a unanimous consent then. Seven. All right. Sorry, it said it said resolution. Um, second, scratching that up. Who, All right, it was, it was a motion we for. Had, we had the first read before we yes, that's right. Uh, but we had a motion from Mr. Uh, Gwaltney and a second from Miss Andrus. All right, Mr. Kendrick, you want to give us that first reading? Yes, in order granting a cable TV franchise to Spectrum Southeast LLC, known, also known as Charter Communications, where the city reserves the right to exercise control of highway streets and alleys, public places and to require the city's consent prior to using the same, whereas the city state law confers to the city certain rights and requirements for a franchise and permission to use the public right away, and whereas Spectrum has requested the city to, uh, to grant a franchise to use the public streets, whereas the, uh, the city and the franchisee has negotiated a franchise agreement which is attached to Exhibit A. Now, therefore, city council does by adoption resolution grant a franchise to the franchisee pursuant to the terms and conditions set out in Exhibit A. Section two, that pursuant to the laws of the state of Alabama, city grants the franchisee a franchise for a period of 10 years. Section three, that the franchise by accepting the franchise, the franchisee by accepting the franchise agrees that will upon making any excavation, any streets or public ways will replace the same as required by ordinance. Section four, that the rights and privileges uh, of the franchisee may be exercised by the franch franchisee, but not by any of the successors or signs without the prior consent of the city, whereas this ordinance has been accepted by the, when this ordinance has been accepted by the franchisee, it contains a franchise agreement between the city and the franchisee and, and then adopted today. Okay. All right, we have a motion for unanimous consent. Ms. Salter, can you do a roll call for us, please? Uh, yes, um, Councilor Gwaltney? Yes, ma'am. Councilor Gear? Yes. Councilor Alamon? Yes. Councilor Wolverton? Yes. Councilor Sims? Yes. Um, Councilor Andrus? Yes. Councilor Harden? Yes. And presiding uh, <laughs> president, Councilor Smith? <laughs> yes. Okay. okay. It'll be 2822. Sorry, yeah. ordinance. 2822 ordinance. Um, so moved. Second. All right. Motion for Ms. Andrews, second for Mr. Gwaltney. Uh, roll call again, please. <clears throat> okay. Councilor Gwaltney? Yes, ma'am. Councilor Gear? Yes. Councilor Alamon? Yes. Councilor Wolverton? Sorry, I, I know we're voting. Can, can I ask a quick question, Mr. Kendrick? Sure. Is, is, there, is there a way to make sure that we don't have four different um, utility companies working in the <laughs> city right away in the same neighborhood at the same time? Mr. Wolfton, this is an existing franchise that's completely built out. I don't anticipate there being. Okay. With the, this is just renewing their current. Yeah. It is. Okay. Okay. We'll have that discussion later then. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, the, yes. the permits. They work in the right of way granted by the city, so certainly they can control okay. who can work in the right of way at what time. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay, so I, I was through, yes. through Mr. Wolverton, so then Councillor Sims? Yes. Okay. Um, Councillor Andrus? Yes. 
Councillor Hardin? Yes. And Councillor Smith? Yes. Okay, so that is ordinance 2822. All right, uh, 29 11 21, request for consideration for work in the right of way at 126 Barber's Court. Uh, that would, came to us from Kale Smith. Uh, and first, we need to get a report uh, from Public Works, Mr. Wolverton. Yes, the committee met <coughs> and voted 4 to 0 to approve. A motion was made by Councillor Gear and seconded by Councillor Harden. All right, uh, motion. Sorry, motion from. Uh, public works to approve uh, that does not require I, I was going to say oh, it was yeah, pending the indemnification agreement. oh right sorry. yes pending the indemnification agreement okay um, mr. Smith do you have anything you need to tell us about that no I mean it's pretty self-explanatory okay motion from public works uh, all in favor please say aye aye, aye. aye. eight to zero and that is 2205 all right Moving on, um, 11 12 21 request for permission to install a stormwater manhole in the right of way at 231 Ridge Road. Also, coming to us from Mr. Smith, uh, another report from Public Works, please, Mr. Wolverton. Yes, the committee voted four to zero to recommend approval pending indemnification agreement. Again, the uh, motion was made by Councillor Sims and seconded by Councillor Gear. Okay, motion to approve from Public Works. All in favor, please say aye. 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 <laughs> Eight to zero, um, and that is uh, resolution number 2206. All right, 16, 12, 21, request to consider that members of the Historic Preservation, um, it's actually Historic, Historic Preservation Commission, um, as board representatives be appointed uh, by the council, also at large representatives to be appointed by the council, uh, and um, make all terms uh, three years. That came to um, the council from myself. Uh, as the liaison to that commission. Um, and first, I'm gonna get a report from special issues uh, to be reported by Ms. Andrus. Yeah. Uh, yes, we, the committee met last week and voted five to zero to recommend approval with red line changes with no mayoral appointees and all representatives appointed by the council. The motion was made by Councilor Sims and seconded by Councilor Gear. And I'll just um, say that this was done after um, we ch made changes to the beautification board after looking at the um, organization of the Preservation Commission, it made sense to do similar changes uh, to the Preservation Commission. Um, the mayoral appointments were only being appointed for a year, which is really not enough time for anybody to get their feet under them. Um, so yeah, all, um, all appointments will be made by the council. There will still be the same number of representatives. There will be five council ward reps, and then, I mean, ward reps on the commission and then there will be two at large um, positions that were formerly mayoral appointments but everybody will have a term limit of three years and they can be reappointed all right um, and mr kendrick um, had those changes sent to us we did leave the historical information about the staggered things that happened at the very beginning of the commission just for historical record um, all right so that is a, a motion from special issues uh, does anybody have any questions that's an ordinance correct it oh, it is an ordinance, yes. We're amending the ordinance, so we'll need a motion for unanimous consent. I'll move for unanimous consent. All right, motion for Ms. Andrus. Second. Uh, I don't know who said second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it to Miss, um, um, okay, Miss Gear. I'm gonna give it to Miss Gear. All right, uh, Miss uh, Salter, a roll call, please. Did you already do, you do the first reading? Oh, yes, you need the first reading. Sorry, okay. forget so that part. Again, subsection B, entitled commission members, numbers, appointments, terms, compensation, and rules and, and standards of section. 
occur on behalf of the commission. Members may be removed for cause by the city council. Vacancies of the commission shall be filled by the city council. Appointment shall, such appointment shall be only expired terms of members replaced. Members of the commission shall elect a chairperson and a vice chairperson and such other officers as the members deem necessary. The commission shall adopt rules of procedure and bylaws to govern its operations. The rules of procedure and bylaws <coughs> shall specify four members of the commission constitute a quorum. The commission shall have the flexibility about rules and standards without amendments to this article. Section two, all of the, all of the provisions of Article 8 of the Code of Ordinance remains full force in effect. Section three, any part of the provision the ordinance declared to be unconstitutional, all parts are effective. They do remain in full force in effect. Section four, the ordinance become effective made upon its adoption by the city council, approved by the mayors otherwise becoming law. All right, thank you, Mr. Kendrick. All right, uh, we have a motion for unanimous consent from Ms. Anders and a second from Ms. Gear. Um, Ms. Salter, roll call, please. Yes, Councilor Gwaltney? Yes. Councilor Gear? Yes. Councilor Alamon? Yes. Councilor Wolverton? Yes. Councilor Sims? Yes. Yep. Councilor Andrus? Yes. Councilor Harden? Yes. And Councilor uh, Smith? Yes. And this will be 28 23. Okay, um, and uh, can I get a motion to approve? So, second. All right. Uh, motion for Mr. Gwaltney. Second for Ms. Gear. Roll call again, please. Right. Councilor Gwaltney? Yes, ma'am. Councilor Gear? Yes. Councilor Alamon? Yes. Councilor Wolverton? Yes. Um, Councilor Sims? Yes. Councilor Andrus? <laughs> yes. Councilor Harden? Yes. And Councilor Smith? Yes. Um, okay, that is 8 to 0, and that is uh, Ordinance 2823. All right, 250417, request for consideration of 18th Street Revitalization Pro um, Project, Mr. Gwaltney. Um, that bid opening uh, is set for tomorrow. Um, it was supposed to be happening at 10 a.m., but one of the bidders need a little more time, so we are opening those bids at 3. Is that correct, Mr. Smith? Yes. Um, so we are going to carry this over um, to a special called meeting, which I have the joy of setting for us. Uh, on the 18th, um, we discussed doing that in the morning, but I know that that is not really good for people who have jobs. So we're going to do that meeting um, the 18th at 5.15, and we are going to um, hopefully have a resolution at that point um, from ALDOT about whether we can approve the bidder who has been awarded that bid. So um, I'll announce that again at the end of the meeting but we will have a special called meeting i'll uh, notice it tomorrow okay on on the 18th at 5 15 and we'll carry um, the bid opening over until that day okay um all right next is our committee referral agenda um can i get a motion to approve the amended committee referral agenda with those two additional items um mentioned at the beginning so moved. all right okay. motion for mr allman second for mr wolverton all in favor please say aye Okay. Hi, um, eight to zero. So um, that's a lot of items on there for committee folks. Take a look at that. Um, okay, uh, other new business. All right, uh, 0601-22, request to set a public hearing for consideration of a sign variance at 2818 18th Street South, Andrew Tynes, uh, Shea's Mammoth Murals, Wyatt Pugh Building Department. Um, we are going to set that public hearing for February 14th at 6 p.m. So we're carrying that over until then. Um, all right, next item is 070122, request to set a public hearing for consideration of a sign variance at 2834 18th Street South, Mick Britton, Nadeau, Kingfisher Signs, and Wyatt Pew. Uh, we are also gonna set that public hearing for February 14th, 2022 at 6 p.m. So carry that one over till then. Um, 08, oh, yes, sir? Um, I am, there's gonna be some, we're, we have like five more to set. <laughs> so th those are gonna be moved till later. Um, okay. Um, oh, did we put that date wrong? Was, did you have the 31st on there? Oh, we, we put that date wrong. Yeah, no, no, it's okay. We, okay. We're, we're gonna okay. do, I mean, we can do them up until then, but I've got the other ones set for those later dates. Um, okay. So, so you want to keep those first two yes. for the 14th? Mm -hmm. Yep, we're going to keep those keep okay. those on the 14th, yep, the two sign variances. Um, and then uh, 080122, request to set a bid opening for the demolition of 175 Citation Court, Berkeley Squires Public Works Director. Um, we're having the bid opening on at 5 p.m. on 131 before our meeting. 
And so we will, what do we do with that public hearing? Okay. It bids, bids takes at 4.30. Um, and uh, I didn't send this to, well, we didn't send this one to referral, I don't think, but I don't, because there's not, y'all want me on the 24th. Did you want it to go to referral just to them discuss it or just leave it on council? No, no, no. I think, I think we, oh, it's oh, on is referral. Okay. Yeah, okay. I didn't know if we did that. Okay. Thank okay. You. Okay. So, um, so when is the earliest I can set that bid opening? It's I mean, set, I mean, yeah. It's just, they, they're just going to talk about it on the 24th. Okay. Thing, but but y'all can't, they can't really, they're going to have to send it out without recommendation. Right. The earliest we could do was the 31st. Okay. It's got to be published in the paper. I got it. Okay. All right. So we'll carry that over for the bid opening mm -hmm. on the 31st. Um, okay, 090122 request to set a public hearing and referral to the Planning and Development Committee for consideration to rezone 2916 Linden Street from C1 Office Building District to C4 Central Business District. The applicant is a Strasener Investment Company owner Daniel and Chase Strasener to facilitate a new commercial development. The Planning Commission uh, voted six to two with one person absent um, for a favorable recommendation of this rezone. Uh, this is coming to us from Wyatt Pew. Uh, we are going to set this public hearing for t for February 20, 28th, sorry, 22 at 6 p.m. So we'll carry that one over till the 28th. Um, 10.01.22, request to set a public hearing for consideration to rezone 3006 Cook Street from C2 Neighborhood Shopping District to R7 Attached Dwelling Unit District. The applicant is John Abernathy, BRE Cook Street, LLC, owner BRE Cook Street, LLC, Blackwater Real Estate, to facilitate the construction of a six-unit townhome development. The Planning Commission had a seven-to-one favorable recommendation with one person absent um, for this rezone. We will also set that public hearing for uh, February 28th at 6 p.m. 28th. Or the 28th, 22nd. yes, February 28th. So that second February meeting. Um, and then, so we'll carry that one over until that time. 110122, request to set a public hearing for consideration to rezone 2821 Central Avenue from C4 Central Business District to M1 Light Manufacturing District, the applicant being the City of Homewood, the owner Taco Partners, LLC, for the lots comprising the subject property that were unintentionally included in the rezoning of the original parcel, parcel in December 2014, uh, the Planning Commission voted eight to zero with one person absent for a favor favorable recommendation of this rezone. Uh, we are going to set that one for 228 as well at six o'clock. So we'll carry that one over till then. Uh, and then 120122 request to set a public hearing for consideration to amend the final development plan at 2727 18th Street South and 1817 27th Avenue South. The Valley Hotel, the applicant is the Homewood Hotel LLC owner, Homewood Hotel LLC, and MAM Investments LLC to update the plan to reflect as built conditions. Um, it's built conditions there. Uh, the Planning Commission had a vote of eight to zero uh, for a favorable recommendation with one person absent uh, for the amended development plan. We are gonna set that public hearing for 2-14-22 at 6 p.m. So we'll carry that one over until then. And then 13-01-22, request for consideration of an ABC 160 special retail, more than 30 days license for 1903 South Catering LLC doing business as a loft Birmingham, Soho Square, located at 1903 29th Avenue South. This is coming to us from Melody Salter and Mr. Brigette. Um, and uh, there apparently has been a change in ownership uh, for the a loft Hotel, and they are looking to change the type of uh, license they have. I believe we have received approval from police, but are still waiting on uh, approval from fire. So can I get a motion to approve this pending uh, fire's approval? I would make that motion. All right, Mr. Gwaltney, can I get a second? Second. Mr. Harden, all right. Um, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Um, eight to zero, and that is not a resolution, so um, that passes. So pending that fire approval, they will be good to go. Um, Okay, uh, final item, 14.01.22, request for consideration of approval of vouchers for the period of December 21st, 2021 through January 10th, 2022. Mr. Burgett and Ms. Salter and bless 
Carlos Alamon's heart. He tackled this mountain uh, all on his own with, well, luckily with help from Melody and uh, Robert, because otherwise, you know, it's like reading Mandarin. Um, all right, Mr. Alamon. Yes, I, would want, I want to first thank Robert and Melody for their assistance and help in trying to help me understand <laughs> the vouchers. Um, I think it's great work that we try to do here and making sure that we're spending the money uh, in a way that really reflects the values of our taxpayers and it's also great to see how that money is well spent. Um, so I want to thank them for that. But I reviewed them and I would like to make a motion to consider their approval. Okay. All right. I have a motion for Mr. Alamon. Can I get a second? Second. All right. Second for Mr. Sims. Um, all in favor, please say aye. 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 That is eight to zero. And Ms. Salter, I lost track of what? Um, 07. 07. 22. It was Mr. Sims, yes. Uh, so that resolution is 2207. Um, and we will come to that time of the meeting where we uh, sing happy birthday to the mayor. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so join us at the podium, won't you? Yep. Do it. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> come on. <laughs> In, How often is your birthday actually on a council meeting? That's right, exactly. Okay, ready? Well, ready. he's been on the council for, I mean, what are you, like, <laughs> at 18 years now, so I'm sure yeah. it's, it's not happened <laughs> once or twice. <laughs> exactly. All right. Not that long, Jennifer. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Okay. I appreciate it. I don't have anything uh, tonight because I know everybody wants to get uh, get home. But real quick, somebody sent this, and I just think it's funny. It's not how I feel, so don't hurt me. <laughs> Cheering for Alabama because they are in the state of Alabama is like rooting for the devil because he's in the Bible. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> All right, Mr. Gwaltney. Judging by the existing agenda and the solver finance, uh, it looks like Walter is probably going to be at least 30. Um, Jim, I the 24th not the not the 17th all right yeah 545 to 6 all right all right Miss gear all I have to say is roll tide mayor <laughs> McCluskey <laughs> all right Mr. Alamon roll tide all right I've got a lot of that going on all right Mr. Wolverton boo that <laughs> um no I'm just I'm just kidding I just want to see a great game, so <clears throat> hopefully that delivers. Um, so I've got two new items. I'll, I had a question about this adding public parking. Is that that's not special issues? Um, Are you talking about my item? I when yeah, I sent that in, development or I did ask for um, clarification on that. So I'm, I mean, it can send it, it to can public come. works. Oh, I because it's really. I not think I meant it to send to send to public safety. I said because I copied Andy on that email. That's right. Yeah, you did. Yeah. 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 But I never. But I never had public works on there. I had public yeah. safety yeah. on there. Yeah. I, I okay. Say, but both of these items, I never. All right. So saw, I think so. I think Miss um, Salter, we need to move the pub, the parking item that is um, sent. It was sent to public works. It needs to go to public safety instead. Okay. Let's see. It's o four o one twenty two. Yeah. Yeah, it needs to go to public safety rather than public works. Okay. If we can make that change. Okay, so now you're, you're one item down. Sure. And then Poinciana's, I guess I just didn't have any background on it, but it oh, probably. That is um, the Garden Club. Uh, I, I discussed it with Alex and um, shoot, Berkeley. 
So I apologize. And, and Barry, I'm not sending this as special issues. I, I think I've, I thought I was sending that yeah, special I thought, issues. I thought this, is, this isn't really public works either. This yeah, really I was needs to say, go neither one of these came yeah. to me via yeah. email. So yeah, I, no, yeah, this, this, one, this, one, <laughs> this was supposed to be special issues. That's why I hadn't told you, Andrew, because I had it um, going to Barry. What's, what's that item number? Uh, yeah, because I was on those emails. It is 030122. 030122. It's permission mm -hmm. to work in the triangle over in Hollywood. Well, it's, it depends on what, there's, yeah, this, this one it does need to go to special issues. Yes. Yes. Please. That's why you hadn't heard from me. All right. Okay. Well, I figured there was, <laughs> yeah. was probably. Sorry. Yeah, I didn't, no, I didn't even fine. see that on so the agenda. Do you, do you have, do you have oh, items yeah. you need to still do? Uh, so, I mean, I think that pretty much takes care of everything but the Green Springs revitalization and that's an ongoing. So I, with that, I will not hold you are, whoop, you are public welcome. works. Nice. Okay. Thank Excellent. you to public safety and <laughs> special, special issues. issues. <laughs> All right, Mr. Sims. Yes, good evening. I just wanted to say that the beautification board had their January meeting today. Uh, it went well. They did some goal setting for 2022 as well as discussion of uh, ongoing projects such as the signage project they've been working on. And um, so I invite anybody who's interested to tune in, um, you know, to the February agenda as well to learn more about what they're doing. We'll also probably be uh, soon sending some information to council about what wards do not have beautification board appointments because now with that new ordinance, we're going to have some specific ward slots that need to be filled. So more to come on that. Just wanted to give you a heads up. And yeah, I hope everybody has had a great start to 2022. And I just, you know, with the current numbers in the pandemic um, and the positivity rate in Jefferson County, um, just hope everybody continues to stay safe and be healthy and you know, do the best they can to uh, uh, take care of themselves. Thanks. Ms. Andrus. Okay, so I'm um, not used to this dynamic here, so. You can sit before me. Well, I have a big agenda. It's a pretty <laughs> it's okay. big agenda. Yeah, you have a lot, but that's okay. You don't want to go before me? No, go ahead. Wow. Okay, you sure? <laughs> yeah. She is, a, yeah. she is yeah. a good friend. That is a good friend. Okay, well then, that being the case, I'm going to set um, I'm not setting special issues. I'm setting P&D at six o'clock. Yeah. I mean, I'm not even used to having to look to see how much time I need because I'm always the last person <laughs> anyway. So, I, I mean, I think I'm going to need 30 minutes at least. Okay. So, so let's six to six thirty. Yeah, let's let's say 30 minutes. Okay. Um, I just have two quick things, and I won't belabor them. Um, I want to thank Senator Dan Roberts. Um, he contributed to our bridge. Um, at Hollywood Boulevard um, improvement project that is uh, we should have some more information on that in the next month or so but we got a check from Senator Roberts for $15,000 so I want to say thank you to Senator Roberts um, he actually is our senator so he, he picks up that area and goes south um, and I also always just want to say thanks to Randy Hambly I mean that man, I swear, he is so on it. It just, he, no amount of time whatsoever passes. I mean, you tell him you need something done and it is done before the hour is over. So I wanna thank Randy Hanley for always being so responsive to us. That's all I have today. All right, Mr. Harden. Um, I wanna congratulate Barry on the good job she did tonight. <laughs> Thanks. I thought she did well. I don't know how long she sat up here trying to figure out what to do. <laughs> I do apologize for being late. We had a little dog problem that <laughs> created me to be late tonight. Um, I was going to be early, um, but that's all I have to say. All right. Wonderful. Thank you, Mr. Harden. And um, I will um, first of all announce that City Hall will be closed uh, next Monday on the 17th for Martin Luther King Day. We will not have meetings that night. Committees will be on uh, January 24th. And also, um, the Homewood Historic Preservation Commission is meeting tomorrow night here at City Hall at 7 p.m. upstairs on the fourth floor. Um, and I will set special issues for 6.30. Um, and we have a few issues, too, so we'll deal with those as we go. Um, and with that, we are adjourned. Go home and watch some football. Adios.